Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop Videos. On today's video, I'm going to talk about what happened to the 1970s actress, Teresa Graves. She was one of the most popular black actresses of the 1970s. And she was one of the most beautiful women of the 70s. When people talk about some of the most beautiful women of the 70s, Teresa Graves' name always comes up. And this woman was gorgeous. She was tall, she, was, she had a beautiful face, and she was talented. She was a great singer and a great actress. And she started in her own television show. She was the second black woman in the history of America to start her own television show called Get Christy Love. The first black woman to start her own television show was Diane Carroll, who starred in Julia in 1967. So when she gets the role in 1974 to star in her own TV show, this was a huge big deal back then. Can't seem to find my... I guess you know you're not getting a tip. You know that. Terrific view. Come on. Come on, it's only 15 floors down, and you don't have to worry about the first 14. Christy, Christy, are you all right? Teresa Graves filmed the movie Get Christy Love at the end of 1973 and it aired at the beginning of 1974. The movie was a huge hit, and they turned the movie into a TV series. But the TV series only lasted for a few seasons and went off the air at the end of 1975. But she went on to play in movies like Black Eye and Vampira, in which she played a vampire. And she also toured around the country and recorded music. She performed with the Harlem Gold Trotters, where she would sing and perform with them when, as they went on tour around the country. In the late 1970s, Teresa Graves became a Jehovah Witness, and she got married, and she retired from the entertainment business. After the 1970s, she never played in another movie or another acting role. She never recorded any more music. She walked away from the show business altogether, and she dedicated her life to her religion. And a lot of people always wonder, what happened to her? What happened to Teresa Graves? Well, unfortunately, in 2002, at the age of 54, she ended up dying in a house fire in California. And she died instantly when a space heater went off in the house, caught fire and inflamed the entire house, and she passed away. And I always wondered what happened to her. I was always a huge fan of her. She was always such a beautiful, talented woman. 
but she passed away in 2002 and this is a picture of her around the time that she passed away and I just wanted to show people what happened to her what happened to this talented beautiful woman one of the icons of the 1970s and I don't blame her for walking away from show business walking away from Hollywood Hollywood is a very dirty business and the way they treated black women in the 1970s was horrible so I don't blame her for just quitting all of this and just living a private life away from all of it a lot of people have different opinions about this topic thanks for watching my video rate and subscribe for more videos in the future